Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Oliver Racing here, back with some GTA 4, but this time, I'm starting GTA 4, welcome back to Liberty City Multiplayer Adventures, Episode 1. So, as you can see, uh, I kind of loaded up the tutorial, don't worry, I'm not a noob, I've played this since the game came out, back in the day, but I'm just showing you, for some people who are new, and haven't had that experience, so you can... Get your player model. This is mine. Um, so you can start multiplayer through your phone. You can go to a quick match. Once in the lobby you uh, or start multiplayer game, you will enter the lobby screen. The lobby screen displays both game modes and its rules, and also has the option that you can alter if you're the host. If you're the host, yeah, if you are the host, you will be able to change a variety of options such as the weapon types, game durations, options that will scroll uh, through the screen. So yeah, does that. You can select the areas of the city that the game will be played in within the location option. If the auto aim option is set, you cannot uh, use the targeting lock. The player's names are listed uh, to the left and the player's uh, name are symbols. The star Icon indicates the player's rank as a number between 1 and 10. Yeah, speaking of that, your rank will increase as your, uh, require cash and rank to multiplayer games. Player ranks will only be displayed in ranked games. The amount of, in the dollar represents the total cash you have earned in ranked games. As you can see, uh, the crown icon in the, uh, identifies the host, the uh, host is the player, the mic indicate uh, on the Xbox 360 attached or not. So, uh, when the, yeah, denotes, when all players are ready, the game will start. In a free for all, the objective, yeah, we, we know the basics, ladies and gentlemen. So basically, you need money to rank up on this game, all right? You need money to rank up. Um, it's quite hard to do that. Yes, it is. Especially when you load up a game. You might find some people, you might not. But there's a lot of people waiting. And there's people who are waiting and waiting. Because I tried to do this one earlier. And there's people who... Um, so if we... Um, you have to have the majority of the players ready up um so that's not gonna work so we're gonna go to the mafia work so basically you need like 2.5 million to get to rank 9 and then another 2.5 to get to rank 10 which is the highest rank so you can love like you know get different models of clothing different heads for you guys because it's not an extensive it's not as extensive as gta 5's character customization and that is to be expected, but so you need money. You need people to do it with. Oh, so we found someone. We found someone. I'm ready. Are you ready? Oh, we've got a few people now. So, uh, we got two, we got three level twos. And uh, the hovering over to get me. Why? Right, because I'm rank zero. Oh, that's sad. Because I've been playing GTA probably before you. Because I used to have a few rank ten accounts. Um, but yeah, that was not the case. And are we ready? We're ready. So we're gonna get go for a race. What else in the adventures? You don't get any money for free mode. You do not get any money for that. Um. But there's a lot of things you can explore in free mode. But I hope you guys enjoy and we'll hit that like button because you know what? Oh, what? Yep, okay, I'm the host. I'm the host. That's good because you know what? I'm not going to change anything. I just want to get that money and show you what you can do in the meanwhile. I should have probably chose my car, but we're going with the Aston. The Aston Martin. You know why? Because I'm British. Yep. 
Right, here we go. This guy's getting to first. Not for long. Here we go, and then we're gonna take the lead. So, yeah, the driving is a bit different to get uh, used to again. And... So yeah, I haven't played it really at all on this account, as you can tell. But... And I, I'm looking for, like, I used to play with some of the big names in GTA 4 on the leaderboards back in the day. And I used to be one of those big names. But I used to use a different gamer tag and all that. But you know, it's not like... GTA 4 has its perks. Online, like, you can turn cops off. And you can turn, like, friendly fire off. And stuff like that. So it's just really fun. Oh, and look at that. Can I get in under 1 minute and 20 seconds? Look at that. First place. Won our first race. I spectate. Jeez, look at that guy's car. So. We get ready up. We gotta go to races. We gotta have another race. And that guy doesn't want to join us. So we could go to GTA race. There's lots of little game modes you can try. Which I like. I appreciate. Um, so we've got team death matches. Like I said, it's best that you do this with some friends because, as you can see, GTA is a bit dead. GTA 4 needs some love. And there's uh, plenty of things we could do if you leave your game tag in the comments. Uh, I could help you level up, we could help each other level up. One of my favorite multiplayer game modes, like not just in GTA, but specifically for GTA as well, is cops and robbers. Cops and crooks. Um, that's also known as. But cops and robbers is better as known as. We're going to see if anyone else joins because barely anyone plays this. And this is one of my favorite ones. I used to, I met one of my good friends. Um, I will give a few names out back in the day. But I don't speak to many of them anymore because they jumped ship. They went to uh, PlayStation uh, and shortly before GTA 5 launch, we used to run together for so long, like, do all-nighters and stuff like that. We got the Angels of Death, Deal Breaker. Uh, we used to do a lot of, um, Deal Breaker, me and the guys, Hangman's News and Bomb the Base were the main ones we did as a team, um, but I used to do a lot of Mafia work and Deathmatch separately. Um, but yeah, that's what I used to do. Um, but I can't speak on behalf of everyone else, um, but they were always the game modes that we used to do as a, like, you know, a group of us. And it was a great laugh. And I wish I, like, recorded some of them. But there wasn't as much as recording software back then either, like, probably would have started my YouTube channel a long time ago if I could have done, record some of the awesome stuff we did. Um, but... I think I might have to try and get in contact with at least uh, one of them, I think, you know. If that's something you'd like to see, um, let me know in the comments, or by a message. Um, so, I, you see, no one's ready up here, we're still the same guys, we're just going down, to see if we can find anyone. It's kind of sad, because like, we only need 52 dollars to level up, and I can't find anyone. Found someone in race. Fifty-two more dollars. So we could do random. Uh, we've got so many little races we could do. Um, star in your eyes. All right, we could do that. Um, you can turn it off. You can display game tag. You can choose the time of day. So, there's so many things you can do back on GTA 4, but make it a really good game. Um, 
But yeah, I'm going to see what color we can go for here. So, it's just a matter of finding people, essentially. Is the main thing on GTA 4, what lets it down. It's like its greatest downfall. Um, but that's not its fault. It's like coming up a decade, a 10 year old game. The fact that you can find anyone is truly something. So we're going to go back to that deathmatch. And see if we can find someone. No. Nope. I always think that like, there's people there, like, it's just one guy, and then I'm ready up, and then he's like, oh, it's the same three, four people. <gasps> we found someone. Alright, alright. Alright, alright, so we got some Mafia work. I used to be good at this. I haven't played this in ages, alright, Naaman? I haven't played this in ages. So we're gonna see what we can do here in Mafia work. So it's me and this other guy, Merc D. Alright, so let's see if you Merc me. Oh, Pet Petrovic's calling. Boss. So, like, you get these phone calls in this, like, mission. Oh, he's trying to kill me already. Got be better shot than that, boy. Um, so, basically what you gotta do is still... Uh, like things, kill people, destroy things, like in this one game mode alone, which is really fun. But it's a lot more fun with other people where you feel like you're competing, and it's good that guy was there. Um, so now we've got a challenge, and he's following us. So we got to steal this gun for the... Uh, take him out. Hey, buddy. No, not today. Look at that. So you'll see like my money go up as soon as I get this. Got to pick it up, which I love like how you can pick up objects on this game. See, like, you can pick up bricks. Another thing I do like about GTA 4 is that, just that little Thing you can do. Not like a big feature, but it's a nice little neat feature. And really, the guy leaves. Well, we're gonna see if we can do any more jobs because that was very anticlimactic. Um, people still waiting for these guys. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, you can vote to kick in the lobby, but people don't seem to do that. So we're gonna go for another race, another team deathmatch. Like, it's just basically just, and look, you see what I've leveled up to now rank one. So, so you unlock things when you rank up, um, but there's, it's kind of hard to do now. Uh, so you can see new clothing available. You unlock these like heads, like, as you would see, you can switch between. Of course, you get more when you uh, level up, so you got all these ones to choose from now. Um, but yeah, you got these trousers you can choose from. See, and then you got the hats and stuff, etc. You can be a female, don't have to just be a male. Nice little addition when you uh, reach rank 1. You could be a zombie. Pretty cool feature, I like that, with the Rockstar pants as well. Um, but, uh, you can also give them glasses, yeah. You can give them hats. But you can't, like, dress him, unless you, like, use mods and stuff. But, I think that is going to be... Oh, oh, we found someone. We're good. We found someone. But we could be on the same team, you can change your colour. Um... But uh, yeah, this guy is waiting. I don't think we're gonna find someone. I'm gonna look for mafia work one more time. I just want to give you some kind of indication of what we could do personally. So let me know what you want to see, actually, guys, in the comments section below, because this is where I'm gonna cut. Like, 
If this was more like a bit of tutorial for you guys who haven't been to LBC or on GTA for whatever reason, you haven't played GTA 4 yet, or you're just coming back and joining me, what would you like to see me do more of? Don't worry, I will do more in depth and more adventures. Multiplayer adventures, definitely on free mode. I will do a lot more of stuff and explore the map with you guys. But you gotta let me know your game tags in the comment section below, so maybe you can be featured in a future video. Um, but what would you like to see more of? Would you like to see me try and do some deathmatch with you guys? Uh, mafia work, carjack city, races, GTA races, that's essentially where you have guns in the race, if you guys are wondering what the difference is. Team deathmatch, team mafia work, team carjack city, cops and crooks is personally one of my favourite ones. Um, so I like to do more of that, but gotta have the people to do it and there's turf war then there's deal breaker also i like deal breaker that's also another fun one hangman's noose is quick and easy and a good way to make cash on this game because it is a grind and bomb the base too and last but not least free mode but let me know what you think in the comment section below i know it wasn't exactly entertaining video but if you could drop a like because we have arrived in Liberty City, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget to give me a like. Give me a comment on what your thoughts are and what you want to see back on GTA 4 in the comment section below. And what your gamer tag is. And as always, if you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And turn that bell notification on. So you never miss an update when a video goes up. I've been another reason. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.